experience is depend on the experience sir state your opinion so before i tell you whether that was right or wrong i want some opinions is experience dependent on the experience sir rajesh singh experience is depend on the mediation of senses not on experience sir yeah so everything has become controversial now nitin is saying one doesn't exist without the other they both are together i am happy with your nitin's answer you have a little bit of understanding yes shreya she is saying both are interdependent on each other intertwined intertwined very good gravi singh there is no experience without some experience sir i mean i mean you are right yes no experience without the experience sir we are talking about the dependence the relation dependence assumes that one follows the other right your child is dependent on, on you let us say social situation so you have an independent existence without your child and uh, let us say the fire depends on the fuel so fuel is already there then comes the fire which is which cannot happen without the petrol or oil or whatever coal is something like this happening suraj is saying yes experience is the essence of all experiences that is also true the essence comes out to be the experiencer but we are not talking with about it the, what is the essence of the existence can we have this kind of dependency relation between the two everybody is kind of saying that they are in rajiv has a long answer though in reality both are essentially one only and the division itself is an act of illusion mm mm-hmm. i agree with rajiv also pratip is saying experience is watching itself in the form of experiences and ashwin is saying no they are one they don't have any relation yes finally i am happy with this answer the relation is of oneness not of dependency you know this is very subtle question i know a very difficult question and many people have this kind of uh, you can say opinion i am not going to say that it is wrong to call it like this you can say dependency but then you should have an understanding that the world is not suitable like rajiv said no the world hints towards a very peculiar relation but it's not a relation actually it it takes two to relate it takes two to relate if it is only one is is a relation possible is dependency possible like i gave you the example of fire the fuel exists without fire also but the experiencer does not is never seen without experience amazing and the experiences was never seen without a body and so that is the cause of the illusion i mean that is the cause of the ignorance that the experience depends on the body there begins the materialism and the root you can trace it to the word dependency because the word dependency was not understood by the materialist argument is the body comes first then comes the experiencer of the body which is dependent on the body is this argument correct obviously totally illogical stupid argument the body was never seen without the experiencer so the idealist has a opposite uh, uh, argument like the experiencer is the fundamental and the body appears in it so the body is dependent on it and that is the you know trademark of shaivism and some other philosophies but non dual non dualist knows in this whole universe you know only non dualist people know others i don't have any good words for them so uh, graham is saying we made up the terms in pok we divide the existence to for the discussion teaching very good yeah very convenient to talk in dual language because that is what our intellect can grasp can the intellect grasp the non duality no so it is very uh, natural for these kind of confusions to be there what is dependent on what because you are tra- trapped in duality most of the time you are discussing duality i mean there is nothing to discuss in non duality that is silence